Okay, let's talk a minute about the spline mask. Now, the spline mask is used to cut out or connect spline shapes. It works best when all the splines are smooth and all in one plane. And the spline mask objects can be used everywhere that a normal spline can be used. So let me go up here and grab my spline shape. Now, by itself, it does nothing. But if I come up here and I grab, let's say, a circle, and I'll grab a star. Let's take both of these. We'll drop these under the spline mask. And you'll see what we've got here. What's happening is the spline mask is putting these two objects together based on the different parameters that we list here. So right now it's A union B. This is being A, this being B. We could say A subtract B, B subtract A, or A intersect B. You can change what axis it's being drawn on. These do nothing for this particular shape. But if you were working on something other than the XY axis, you could change that here. Let's go back over here. I can also grab my star individually and pull that out to get something like that. Again, you could take the circle and do the same thing. So it's pretty interesting what you can do with the spline mask. So let's say that we're happy with that. We want to go with this. I have no idea why we'd want to do that, but let's say that we did. We could then right-click here and say Current State to Object, and it's going to take this and turn it into a single spline right here. So now I could delete this, and I'm left with just my spline. Then we could go take one of the nerves that we've already looked at. Let's say that we wanted to take the extrude nerves, and we could just drag that underneath the extrude nerves. And then we have a piece of 3D geometry that looks very similar to a pineapple, I just realized. <laughs> All right, so play around with the spline mask. By creating compound splines, you can create new shapes that would ordinarily take much longer to do by hand.